Tired of competing with big companies for South Africa's top tech talent, entrepreneur Arnold Seguaki didn't complain. He instead launched a program to train unemployed township youth as software developers, building the next generation of coders from the ground up. Seguaki cemented the idea when he became part of the World Economics Forum's Global Shaper program, which grooms young people as leaders. Like you're competing that. with banks, you're competing with uh, multinationals that have a lot of money. Uh, and it was very difficult for us to get really good talent um, at, a, at the rate that we could afford. So um, we then decided uh, that it might not be such a bad idea to create a talent pool for ourselves. Um, and this was already back in 2018. Um, and, and that's when the idea for Kasi Digital was born. Nompelelelo Ntombeni was among the first to complete the six-month course. Even with a medical sciences degree, she struggled to land a job for two years. The first year was fine because I thought I needed the break, but I was applying. So I just felt like things were going slow and I was like, okay, maybe in the next year everything will be fine. So as I was applying, I, I, I rolled into 2023 still not having a job and then I realized this is going to be really difficult. It felt like a waste of time, I won't lie. It felt like I had wasted my time. She's hopeful for the first time in years as she waits for an internship placement. Being in tech will always be in, in style because every, like, every company uses tech in one way or another. Most companies have websites and who's building those websites? We are building those websites. Oh, you can just create your own app if you're that good. South Africa has long grappled with a shortage of critical skills, but the tech boom could turn things around investing in tech startups, making sure that South African tech startups can actually grow um, is something that I think we're missing quite a lot. It's a big opportunity that we're missing out on. And if we can get that right, that could actually be um, one of the ways that we could actually absorb a significant amount of young people um, into the formal economy in South Africa. For most young people in townships, a phone is their only window to the internet, making it difficult to break into the tech world. With tertiary education out of reach for many, programs like Kasi Digital offer hope that South Africa can build a skilled workforce needed for a fast-changing tech world. Julie Shara, CHTN, Cape Town.